Hey everybody, today's quick tip is an inside open pocket. Uh, let's jump right into it. So if we look at our sample here, you can see we're doing some 3D cutting on this one setup here, and then we cut out a void in the center of the part. When we flip the part over for its second operation, you can see there's another pocket on the inside here with the void that's in the center. So the idea is how do we cut this using a pocket to avoid machining the area that is no longer there. So let's take a look. We're gonna jump in and start with just a two axis pocket. We'll select our geometry, okay? We'll go ahead and right click on our surface edge here and choose constant Z. What that will do is grab all the geometry that's at the same Z level. From here, we can pick the depth of our pocket we could also ch uh, change the start location and direction of cut for our finish pass uh, if we're doing a profile routine. Uh, once we have all of our geometry set up, we're gonna just go over to our pocket feature. Okay, we're gonna choose our tool size. Uh, in this example, we're gonna use an advanced pocket using adaptive roughing. We're gonna do a 15% step over we're gonna use this as a roughing routine just to come in here and to clear all the material. Now, when we first generate this pocket, we're gonna notice how it's gonna machine from uh, the inside out using an adaptive strategy, but you'll notice how we get a bunch of passes that are happening where we've already removed material. So what can we do to avoid cutting the void area here or the open area? Well, to begin with, we'll create a new layer and make it active. Uh, from here, what I'm gonna do is just blank out the tool path so I'm not looking at it, and I'm gonna convert edges. So create 2D, extract edges. We'll click on this face here, and then choose OK. We do this to generate the wireframe off the model, and then in order to tell the software where the open area is, we use a dotted line, any dotted geometry. So we'll go to selection mode, shift, left click on our profile, okay, right click, modify attributes, line style, choose any of the dotted styles, and choose okay. The dotted line is gonna let the software know this is the open area of the pocket, what we need to do is come back in and reselect our geometry, adding the dotted line inside void area, and then just recompute our toolpath. And what we'll notice is the software will use that as a, an open boundary, and it will eliminate toolpath from cutting inside of the void. This is a very fast and easy way to set up open pockets, you know, eliminating air cutting where you've already removed material.